New at 10 tonight, raw sewage outside, dangerously hot inside. It sounds absolutely miserable, and it's what people at an Austin apartment complex have been living with for a long time now. This is all happening at the Fairway Village Apartments off of Montopolis Drive in southeast Austin. KITV's Melanie Lofton started asking questions and found out the people there may still be living with some of these problems until the end of the year. Summer in Texas. We know what that means sun, heat, and humidity. But for Marisol Guana, as you're looking up here, you can see where the, the water's starting to drip. She says her AC isn't providing relief. Upstairs, it's very hot. It feels like an inferno. We came upstairs just to see how hot it is up here. You can look at me and see the sweat on my face. We've only been up here about three minutes and I brought a thermometer with me. You can see it is nearly 90 degrees in this apartment. Despite her reports to management, Guana says her system has not been fixed, so we went to the city. Code Compliance Division Manager Todd Wilcox says the complex has had several violations and is on the repeat offenders program. But as far as the broken AC... To make the unit substandard not a dangerous issue, um, so we give them time to correct it and, and don't classify it as a dangerous condition. Weather experts disagree. The National Weather Service puts our temperatures with low 90s and 70% humidity like we saw last week in the dangerous category. The CDC says people 65 years and older and infants and children are more prone to heat stress. Air conditioning is the number one protective factor against heat-related illness and death. In fact, heat is the leading weather-related killer in the United States. One man we spoke to off camera says he has a three week old infant in an apartment with no AC. Still, the city says. Generally on, on maintenance type issues like that, we can give them up to 30 days. This has been going on since I moved back here. And how long has that been? About a year. One a year. Four year. One year you've had these leaks. Yes, ma'am. Juana isn't alone in her problems. Nine to ten times a day, I have to empty this right here. Veronica Rodriguez's AC is also leaking, creating a slipping hazard right at the top of the stairs. She slipped from here all the way down. Six months pregnant. The city has given the property owners warning citations and has a compliance officer on site every week. The problems, however, persist. Wilcox says his office may not fully be aware of all the problems. They have to call them in. The problem with that is we've only had 19 calls in nine months. So if we don't know about them, we, we can't get them to fix them. We did speak to the new owners of the complex. They say grants will help pay for the $4 million renovation project that will fix everything. But it won't be complete for five to six months, leaving these families to sweat it out through the hot Texas summer.